Hey guys, it's Michael McJunkin here, and I'm going to read another five-minute Under the Sea story from Disney. Today's story is Moana and the Path to the Sea. So here we go. Moana loved the ocean. When she was old enough, Grandma Tala taught her how to surf. She spent a lot of time trying to ride the waves. After paddling into the ocean, Moana would float on her board and wait. Then, when the right wave came along, she would pop up and stand on her surfboard. It was challenging for Moana to keep her balance as a little wave carried her to shore. But when she could, riding the waves was so much fun. One day, as Moana and Pua waited for a wave, a sea turtle paddled towards Moana and looked right at her. Hello, she said. There was something familiar about the sea turtle, but Moana couldn't figure out where or when she has met him before. It was almost as if she had known him when she was a little girl. The sea turtle stayed with Moana and Pua, playing with them in the water all day long. Moana named the turtle Lolo. When the sun started to set, Moana lifted her surfboard out of the water. Bye, Lolo, she said, feeling only a little sad. Somehow she knew she would see her friend again. For many, for many days, whenever Moana and Pua went to the ocean, Lolo found them. They had fun swimming, surfing, and playing in the waves. Moana had stayed at the shore till dark when the, to watch the ocean sparkle in the moonlight. I knew I would find you here, said Grandma Tala, joining Moana on the beach. Moana noticed Lolo swimming toward the shore. They watched as a sea turtle crawled up on the sand and over toward the coconut trees. There, Lolo started digging a hole. What is she? What is he doing, Grandma? asked Moana. She, you mean, <laughs> said Grandma Tala with a laugh. Honestly, the turtle ought to be named Crush, but anyway. Your turtle friend just laid her eggs in the hole she dug, Tala said. Those are nesting grounds. Generations of sea turtles laid their eggs there, right there. She told Moana how the baby turtles made their way to the ocean after hatching. And when the females grow up, they come back here to lay their eggs. How do they remember that spot? Moana asked. And how do the babies even know how to go to the ocean? They just know. After that night, Moana checked the nesting grounds every day. She wondered where and when the baby turtles would hatch and hoped that she would get to see them. One day, Moana and Pua were surfing when the sky turned gray. As the rain poured down, they raced back to the village. When they got home, they watched the trees had bend and swayed as they listened to the music of the raindrops. Soon after the storm was over, Moana grabbed her surfboard and hurried back to the ocean. When she got there, she couldn't believe what couldn't believe her eyes. The storm had just knocked. A coconut tree ran on top of the nesting grounds. Fortunately, the eggs were safely burned deep underground. But what if the baby sea turtles hatch, she wondered. They could be trapped. Moana had to do something fast. She ran to the village and told her friends what had happened. The eggs will hatch any day, she explained. Her friends agreed to help, and Moana led them to the site. They all worked together to carefully move the falling tree. But when they heard a loud crack, another palm tree had been damaged in the storm, and it was about to fall onto the nesting grounds. Hurry, urged Moana. Let's push it away from the nest. Everyone gathered around the broken tree. They used all their strength to push until it finally snapped and fell. <laughs> we did it, cheered Moana, breathing a sigh, big sigh of relief. <sighs> The next day, Moana and Grandma Taula were dancing with the ocean waves when Moana saw something move in the nesting grounds. Grandma, look! she shouted. <sighs> Lola's eggs were hatching. Moana watched as the baby sea turtles started to wiggle and move. And soon they began to make their way to the ocean. When a seabird swooped in and tried to capture one of the baby turtles, Moana had waved a palm leaf, and Pua chased the bird away. Moana and her friends protected the newborns, determined to see that catch that each and every one of them made it to safely into the water. Once the turtle babies were all safely swimming, 
Moana grabbed her surfboard, and she and Pua glided out. Lolo and her babies swam around them, paddling and paying together. Moana smiled. She felt great knowing that she had helped them, and there was no better way to celebrate than enjoying the ocean together. The end. Hope you guys enjoyed this read aloud, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.